Hey everybody, so sorry for the technical difficulties. Have you ever tried to um, do something that was so serious and then all of a sudden things just started popping up? Uh, phone calls just started coming in. You know, um, you're getting texts up the wazoo. Yeah, that's that type of warning. But I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on the positive today, right? So welcome, everybody. Welcome back, Instagram. Welcome back, Facebook, right? So guess what? We are still going to push through and we are still going to talk about self-sabotaging your uh, your life, right? And uh, for this whole week, I've been talking about things that affect our mindset. So, um, you know, and how to come away from that and create a positive environment, right? To harness your failures so that you can make it your strength, right? And you can create the wellness within, right? So uh, today is Monday, right? And usually I theme my day. So today is make it happen, make it work. And um, I'm going to be talking about seeds, right? Because we have to think about it. You know, what we throw out will grow, right? So um, thank you so much for viewing Facebook and thank you so much for viewing Instagram. I appreciate my followers. So um, if you can, just state where you are typing from. And um, here we go. So the seeds you plant create the lifestyle you want, right? And the law of attraction responds to whatever you want. Now, how many have heard about the law of attraction, right? So the law of attraction, I will share later on in my life, and I will be teaching you simple steps in how you can turn yourself around from self-sabotaging thoughts to creating the abundance of positive environment and positive, positive thoughts in your life, right? So you have to understand that the law of attraction responds to whatever you want, right? What you water your seed with will make it grow, right? <clears throat> so <clears throat> if you're watering the seed of, of with um, self-sabotaging items, guess what? Your seed is not going to grow, right? And what happens is, is that the self-sabotaging energies is killing the effects of germination of your vibration in the garden of your mind, right? So if you were to take a seed, if you were to take a seed and grow it, let's say with fluorescent lights in a closet, your plant is going to have like a fluorescent pinkish purplish leaf right and it will begin your your uh hello hello so um your leaf will begin to grow and change colors right so if you begin to water the seed with seven up instead of with regular water you're actually going to probably kill your seed before it even thinks about growing, right? Because the acidity in 7-Up is going to kill that seed, right? Because what happens is the seed sucks up the water in the, in the seed so that it can soften the seed and a sprout will be able to grow, right? So we know that with all seeds, you need the proper nutrients, right? to grow the seed correctly. So we don't want to prematurely kill our seed before it has time to manifest. Have you ever felt like you've murdered your dreams? This is the same thing what you're doing with the seed. You're murdering the seed if you're not giving it its proper nutrients to grow, right? So if this is you, if you could relate to growing a seed, 
right, in the proper environment with proper nutrients, comment me, right? So let me introduce myself. If this is your first time viewing my live, if this is the first time, you know, you've ever been see, seen me, let me introduce myself. My name is Mazai Lopez Brown, and I am your lifestyle coach. I'm the founder of Pathway to Prosper Academy, and I am also the creator of the Badass Movement. I communicate strategies to individuals so they will come out of suffering in silence and let go of a fixed mindset and adopt a growth mindset in order to um, choose to be blessed and delivered, achieving spiritual success while obtaining their goals to walk their own pathway to prosper, achieving their dreams to a successful lifestyle, right? So in order for you to be a badass, you need to make the choice to be blessed and delivered, achieving spiritual success. Isn't that awesome? See, so badass, it, you know, some people use it as a negative term, but I've actually turned it around and made it a positive. And that's exactly what I'm going to be speaking about today when you are self-sabotaging yourself right? Self-sabotage, right? That means that you're, you're, you're um, taking yourself, right? And using it as a garbage can. That's the simplest um, definition that I can give you, right? Because I like visuals so that, so that I'll be able to see it. And I like to share with my viewers so they're able to see it as well. So with this being said, I get it. I've been there. I've self-sabotaged myself many a times. You know, um, I've shared my testimony on Facebook, you know, and I've probably dabbled a little bit on Instagram, you know, and you have to understand that I've probably created manslaughter, you know, in the first or the second, if any of you are law uh, junkies or uh law and order of uh, fanatics, right? With dealing with my dreams though. Ah, yeah, that's right. Dealing with my dreams. And you have to understand that when you're killing your dreams or your vision, your visions, your mission will never manifest, right? It'll disappear. So I think God that it kept chasing me. My dreams, my visions, my mission kept chasing me. See, so many times we're trying to chase the buck, right? We're hustling. <coughs> we're chasing others. But I can actually say that I thank goodness because that my dreams were chasing me and I finally gave in. I finally submitted to my mission, to my dream, to my vision. And I've actually taken it and I've made it my passion, you know? So with you, you know, do you have a mission? Do you have a vision? Do you have a dream, you know, that you could possibly be cutting it off? You're castrating it at the root, right? At that seed, at that pivotal important part, right? Are you in the first trimester? of your vision? Are you in the first trimester of your dream or your mission? And because of all these overwhelming um, thoughts keep coming up in your mind, right? And they're taking it from you. They're beginning to become dream stealers, dream killers, right? So, like I said before, I can relate to how you feel. I can relate to your feelings and I validate them, right? You may be curious why you continue to self-sabotaging your life, right? You keep repeating the same cycle. You're attracting the same thinking. You're attracting the same feelings over and over and over again. Could it be? Now I'm throwing out a question. Could it be that you are the main contributor to this and 
it may be done non-deliberately or nonchalantly or you know you may be um a novice in in this in the law of attraction right you have to understand that self self sabotaging occurrences are creating the disappointments in your life how do i know this because i've been there right i've walked the path of destruction i've walked the path of self-sabotage right i've walked that that journey where you know um i'm just attracting every negative thing i was like a magnet to it right so you have to understand that you're creating the disappointments you're creating the loneliness you're creating the lack you're creating the sadness you're creating the stress you're creating the anger you're creating the hurt and you must have to learn how to you know and 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 this is the thing what you're teaching yourself right is deliberately setting you up to fail let me let me repeat that what you are teaching yourself to learn is deliberately setting you up right setting you up for what for you to be grateful for you to be positive right so you have to harness that failure you have to harness the self-sabotaging effects right and you have to take it and make it that positive vibration in your life you got to turn up the frequency right now you're at a point where your either frequency is off or it's too low right and you're just bouncing that back to you right it's a boomerang effect right so you have to understand that when you are negative enough where you're self-sabotaging yourself you're sending that up to the universe and what happens is is that the universe receives it and throws it right back at you right so you have to understand that you don't want that in your life because I know I didn't want it in my life. So if you don't want the self-sabotaging effects to hit back at you and you want to receive the vibrational um, attraction in your life, hashtag me, right? That you want the joy, you want the love, you want the excitement, you want the abundance, you want that feeling of pride. You want that feeling of comfort. You want the confidence. You want the affection of compassion from the universe. Hashtag me. You have to turn up the frequency. Now that you know that your frequency is either low or off, you have to understand that your observation is key. And this is my number one tip of today, right? Your observation is key. Now, if you want <coughs> this tip, if you want this tip, then I need you to hashtag tip, right? Because I want you to gain the the satisfaction i want you to gain the abundance i want you to begin to start feeling the compassion the love the joy the happiness you know i want you to throw away the negativity the anger the disappointments the the um the loneliness the depression right that anxiety Throw all of that away. So you have to understand that your observation is key. So let's start with that. That is our tip of the day. Your observation is key. So your observation is key to destroying self-sabotage, right? And your attraction is deliberate. 
and you like the vibration and you are celebrating it, whether it's negative or whether it's positive. Now, you're probably saying, well, Daya, well, what do you mean by celebrating it? It's what you're focusing on. Right. If you're focusing on your birthday cake and you're focusing on blowing out the candles and you're focusing on everybody singing happy birthday. Right. You're feeling that love. Right. But if you're one that is um, experiencing the the negativity. Right. Where your anxiety's up, you're depressed, you don't want to get out of bed. Right. Um, once you get out of bed, all of a sudden, everything starts happening. You say, see, I should have stayed in the bed because, you know, it all started this way. You're now you're focusing on everything starting off bad. You have to reset your mind. You have to reset your mind. That's all that needs to be done. You must reset your mind. Right. So whatever you respond to. Whatever you give it. Give it by when I mean by give it, you're giving it place, you're giving the juice for it to grow, whether it's positive or whether it's negative. Right. So once you come away from the negativity. Right. You have to understand that you're going to start putting your juice into the positive so that it can drive you right on your pathway to prosper on your pathway to abundance right so you have to understand that your observation says sends vibrations right into the atmosphere and the atmosphere feels that vibration and brings it right back down to you, right? This is what the secret is all about. This is what Rhonda Byrne is talking about. This is what Bob Proctor is talking about. If you want to learn about, you know, uh, the law of attraction and vibration, go on YouTube because these are the same um professors or proctors, I call them, they taught me how to turn up my frequency and what to turn down, what to turn up and what to turn down, right? And it's actually helped me. It's actually helped me on my pathway to self-healing. Oh, yes. Now, don't mind you. I do go to my doctors. I do take my medications, right? But it's come to the point where I have actually used it to help me lose weight. I've actually helped me to um, remove cancer from my body, right? I've actually used it to keep a positive attitude, right, around me. And many people are probably going, well, what do you mean? You know, what do you mean? You know, it was the radiation, Madai. Yeah, some of that had to do with that, right? But I believe, you know, 10% was the medications and 90% was how I looked at it, right? What my belief was, what my faith was, right? And I have to continue that on a daily basis. You can't expect it to happen overnight. And you can't expect it like a microwave, like it's going to happen. You have to work at it, right? Everything that you put your hands to do and your mind to do, you have to work at it. But can you imagine that when you put your hands and your mind together, it's like a marriage, When two walk and agree, there's power, right? So you have to understand that when you begin to observe the positive uh, vibrations, you get positive back. If you begin to observe the negative, you get the negative back, right? So if you focus on the lack, on the fear, um, you're going to retain the frequency of such, right? So I'm going to 
talk to you about the observation cycle. I really wanted to use my whiteboard, but I have some important notes on my whiteboard. So I'm going to have to get me a new whiteboard because this whiteboard right here, I have two whiteboards. If you remember, they used to be over my head. Um, there are some important things on here that are helping me. These are like my big dream boards and they are working, right? They're working. So I want to keep them there and I want to keep looking at them. So I need a new whiteboard. So with that being said, I'm just going to share with you, right? Real quick. I'm almost done. I'm going to share with you the um, observation cycle. So we know that the tip of today is observation, right? And you have to think about it like this. What you observe is what you receive. Let me say that again. What you observe is about what you are seeing right? And have in your life, whether it's positive or negative. So I'm just recapping, right? Two, while observing, you're sending out a vibration to accept either the negative or the positive, right? And three, the law of attraction responds to your vibration. You must observe your future, what you want differently out of life. When you harness your failures and make it your strength, you make the choice to either choose life or death. Reason why I'm saying that is because on the biblical term, Christ said <clears throat> that there's life, <clears throat> that there's death. I'm sorry, life and death in the power of your tongue, right? So it's a two-edged sword. So whatever you put out, you have two ears. Your body listens to that. And what happens is, is that your body is so powerful that you begin to believe what you say, right? So when your, observa when your observations generate feelings that can be either negative or positive, it's your choice. You know, he said in the word, Choose ye this day whom you are going to serve. Are you going to serve the negative in your life or are you going to serve the positive in your life, right? When you obtain the self-sabotage feelings, you're going to get things that are going to kill your future. You're going to get things that are going to kill your mission. You're going to get things that are going to kill your vision, right? So why not choose abundance today, right? With abundance, you get more. With abundance, you get more. So as a result, you get more of whether it's positive or whether it's negative. But again, it's your choice. It's your choice to choose. So if I was to choose, I want to turn up the frequency. You know, if I want to choose, I want to choose positive lifestyle. I want to have abundance in my life. You know, I want to be able to help people come away from a fixed mindset. And the self-sabotaging energies is fixed. It's a fixed mindset, right? I want a growth mindset where I'm observing the abundance. I'm, ex I'm observing the gratitude in my life. I'm observing the comfort, the pride, the confidence, the affection, the excitement, the love, the joy, the happiness, right? So you know me, I love quotes. And there's <clears throat> three quotes that I wanted to share with you today. And no matter where you're from, your dreams are valid. That's from Laputa Nungungo. So many of our dreams at first seem impossible. Then they seem improbable. And then when we summon the will, they soon become inedible. That's Christopher Reeve, right? And then my ultimate favorite, Tupac Shakur, reality is wrong and dreams are real. So where do we go from here, right? And, you know, I really have to speak to those that 
are procrastinators in your life. This live was actually for you today. Why? Because you're setting yourself up for failure. Instead of harnessing your failure, instead of, you know, um, achieving the positive vibrations in your life and, and achieving the, the abundance, the joy, the happiness, the love, the, the commitment to being all you can be, right? You're choosing to be laid back. You're choosing to... Um, not to choose the path of abundance, right? And if you continue down this path, all you're going to do is castrate your dreams, castrate your vision, and cancel out your mission, right? Because we have we have to understand we all have a mission on this earth. We all have our print. We all want to have our fingerprint in in the dirt, right? So procrastinators. This is for you. It's time for you to come out of being laid back. And it's time for you to say maybe it's time out for you to say maybe tomorrow. It starts today. Today is your day. Today is your season. It's Monday. It's time to get up. It's time to make it happen and to make it work in your life. It's time for you to join Pathway to Prosper Academy Tribe, right? researchers me too i don't like to put all my eggs in a basket i want to make sure that i am connected to the right people because let me tell you something spirits are transferable if the person is negative you're going to get negative back right you want to make sure you're around people that know what they're saying know what they're talking about and have a positive vibration that's going to make you change your life right that is going to help you choose the right path to go, right? The pathway to prosper. So I have to let you know what stands me out from the rest is that I've taken principles from the Bible and I've applied it to life and I've applied it to business, right? And you have to understand that with my movement, with my movement that I've birthed, it has actually helped me and it's helped others become blessed and delivered, achieving spiritual success. So if you're that badass that's listening to me today and wants to be blessed and delivered, achieve spiritual success, that wants, you know, um, to come out of a fixed mindset and adopt a growth mindset, that one that, you know, says, you know, wow, Madai, you know, I've never heard it that way. And I'm liking what I'm seeing. I like what I hear. And I'm feeling good at the end of your lives. Then choose to make the choice to join Pathway to Prosper Academy tribe. Right? And the last person, the movers and the shakers. Whew, definitely me. You know, so you have to understand that I'm here to show you. I'm here to influence you. I'm here to teach you. I'm here to motivate you. I'm here to help you become that super duper badass, right? And I want to help you become blessed and delivered, achieving that spiritual success in your life. I want you to choose what, you know, um, what type of lifestyle you want. You need to be specific, right? And you have to learn how to send it back to the atmosphere so that it can rain down blessings in your life. It's time out for self-sabotage. It's time to accept the blessings in your life. It's time to dress up and it's time to go into the door of prosperity, right? So you have to understand, if you're ready, if you are ready and you're like, yeah, I'm going to die, how the heck do I get involved? Guess what? What's so amazing is that you can go onto Facebook and you can, you can find Pathway to Prosper Academy Tribe, right? And also Pathway to Prosper Academy, right? These are... Two of my, um, one is an open page where I do all my lives and one is a closed group specifically for women. Sorry, men, I'm doing a waiting list for you guys. Um, and, you know, 
if you're sick and tired and you just, you know, you're feeling yourself like, yes, the time is now. I have to change, right? I'm looking, you know, I'm looking for at-home moms. I'm looking for career moms. I'm looking for small business owners. I'm looking for entrepreneurs. I'm looking for wives that work 100% of the time. You know, women that are overworked, overtired, sick and tired, you know, um, they, they enough is enough type attitude, right? So if this is you, come join us at Pathway to Prosper Academy. So thank you so much for joining my live on Make It Happen, Make It Work uh, Monday. Thank you, Instagram. Thank you, Facebook. Um, I'm about to sign out. My name is Madai Lopez Brown, and I am your lifestyle coach, the founder of Pathway to Prosper Academy, and the creator of the Badass Movement. I communicate strategies to individuals so that they can come out of suffering in silence by executing my tools in order to let go of a fixed mindset, adopt a growth mindset. So um, taking our badass concepts so they will make the choice in becoming blessed and delivered, achieving spiritual success while obtaining their goals to walk their own pathway to prosper, achieving their dreams to a successful lifestyle. Have a great day. And remember, the best way to be beautiful is by being you. Peace. Bye, Facebook.